On today's episode of What's That Hole in the Ground, we present LiDAR and how we're using it to make building the Ontario line more efficient and safe. Stick around, you might learn something new. Have you ever wondered why our tunnel boring machines don't hit sewers or other buried things when they're digging underground? Well, there's a reason for that. Before we start building major transit projects, we need to make sure we fully understand the spaces where we'll be working, both above ground and below ground. But how do we find out what's beneath the surface? One way is to use LIDAR, short for light detection and ranging. LIDAR is kind of like x-ray vision for our construction workers. Using this super neat technology, we can create precise 3D maps of underground structures and utilities. To do this, a LiDAR device is lowered into a manhole, scanning the surroundings as it descends. During scanning, it identifies potential hazards like structural damage, blockage, misaligned utilities, or alien spacecrafts. Just kidding. We haven't found aliens. Yet. Anyway, all of this helps us inform our planning. Do we need to move a sewer? Relocate other utilities? Well, we got a plan for that. In part, thanks to LiDAR. Along with helping us plan more accurately, LiDAR technology also eliminates the need to manually enter confined spaces, reducing risks and increasing safety for workers. Because, as always, safety first. Knowing exactly what's underground helps us plan to build things like subway tunnels, stations, and foundations for large structures like elevated tracks. So next time you see some people looking down a hole, it might be because they got a little LiDAR buddy down there doing their dirty work.